Alrighty, hello guys, so can we face this back to another video on my channel. Today we are playing Sprocket yet again, and hopefully today we will be building a really, really cool tank. Now, this thing is actually going to be a super heavy tank. I think we're going to aim for 75 tons. That is with all of the fuel, that is also with all of the uh, ammunition as well. Uh, so hopefully this will actually work. Uh, we're going to base it on the tank that I've actually built in Stormworks, so hopefully it looks a little bit like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so my tank in Stormworks actually has a really, really, really big engine. Uh, this one is not actually going to have that because I don't think we need it, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, figure this out, shall we? So, uh, grid snap, we're actually going to go ahead and select a few things. We're going to try and snap all of them to the same place, make it very square all the way around, so that we have more of a chance of actually building a nice vehicle, if that makes sense. Uh, I think it does make sense, so that's pretty good. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and leave these sides pretty much as they are. We're actually going to go ahead and extend them out sideways a little bit more. Uh, but the whole inside is actually going to be stretched inwards a little bit more than it currently is. Uh, the reason being is because I want the tracks to actually be quite chunky. So that's what we're going to do first. Alright, so if we go to tracks real quick, let's go ahead and change the separation on those to actually bring them inwards. There we go, excellent. Uh, we're going to make them slightly wider, so let's go ahead and give them some width. Uh, we'll actually go to 0 0.7, that seems pretty good. Uh, and there we go. We'll actually make the uh, the length of them, no, the thickness of them quite chunky as well, because uh, I think that would be pretty cool. With that being said as well, uh, I feel like we should actually go with uh, the mounts and stuff like that. Let's change those as we go. We're going to go with these guys. Uh, we're going to go with these guys actually all the way around. Uh, and honestly, I think we've got a good chance uh, of having a really good build if we do this. We're also going to go with these guys as well, because I feel like we should. So there you go. Nice. There is more to this though, actually. So let's go back to base. I want to lift up the entire thing so that we can actually move it up and out. There we go. Excellent. Uh, and then we want to build this uh, the way we should. So that's going to go up to there. These guys are actually going to go up to there as well. Very good. Uh, and honestly, we're actually going to go ahead and have this guy... I think it goes a little bit down. Also, we're going to make this sprocket bigger because I feel like we should. So, sprocket, diameter, uh, same size as the road wheels. We're going to make the road wheels bigger as well. Uh, that actually looks pretty cool. Uh, like that, that's excellent. Uh, we're going to space those out if we can. There we go, that's pretty sick. And the idler at the front is actually going to be pretty big too. So, the diameter of that is going to be big. There we go. Uh, and honestly, that somewhat works. The way this looks... Uh, is right. Okay, good. Uh, however, obviously we do have a bit of a problem here. It's all a bit too high. <laughs> it's all very, very much too high. So let's lower this back down a little bit. There we go. Lower this down a little bit too. And lower this down too. There we go. I think this is more like it. So get rid of the fenders. It's totally in the way. There we go. Good. Go to the base. Select it all. Drag all of it down again. There we go. To the right point, which will be there. Uh, and what we need to do is we actually need to go to faces. We need this to fit in the right place, so bring this into the middle. Good. Alright, this bit needs to go into the middle too. There we go. So we've definitely got things in the right places. And then, obviously my tank in uh, Stormworks actually has a bit extended on here, which is crazy. So we're going to go ahead and extend this forwards. We're going to bring this side inwards. There we go. We're going to bring this side inwards. And that's pretty cool. So far, so good. Okie dokie, so the next thing is we're actually going to go ahead and drag this bit inwards a little bit as well. That actually seems pretty sick. Uh, we're going to bring this bit down as well, which I think is pretty cool too. Uh, we're going to send that backwards just a little bit like so. There we go. We're going to actually have that be pretty big, to be honest. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drag this bit at the back down too, because we totally should. Uh, and there we go. That is actually looking pretty nice so far. That's good. Uh, I do feel like it's a little bit too big in terms of these pieces, but I'm sure that's fine. Right, go to faces. We're going to extend this. We're going to drag it out to the side. Yeah, just like this. Excellent. Bring it in one, maybe. There we go. Good. We're going to grab this piece and also this piece, and we're going to bring this in. There we go. And then we should actually be able to put a thing down the side of here, which should look pretty good, to be honest. So we could do this all the way down if we want to, but we're going to drag it to about there. Good. Uh, we obviously want it to look nice on the front and on the back, so if we can do that, that'd be great. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this one, this one, bring this down, grab this one and this one, uh, bring this up, and there we go. That actually looks pretty sick so far. We're also then going to extend this bit forwards, if at all possible. Here we go. 
Extend. Very good. We're going to drag it forwards like so. Bring it out. There we go. Nice. And I think we're also just going to do that with this. So do this and this. Drag that down. Okay. Drag these ones upwards, obviously. There we go. And honestly, I think that actually looks really cool. Um, we also do obviously need to extend this bit out. But I'm not sure how I want to do that. So extend this bit upwards. Bring it out to the side. Take it up. There we go. And then go to points. Grab these two. Bring it down to there. Grab these two. Bring it down to there. And there we go. Honestly, that's cool. I like it. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go back to the tracks. We're actually going to go ahead and raise up the idler at the front because I want it to somewhat fit in there a little bit better. And we're going to drag it forwards a little bit. That's sick. Yeah, that's cool. We're also going to bring this down. And uh, increase the sprocket size, I think. So diameter of the sprocket is actually going to be quite big. There we go. And we'll bring it upwards and backwards. That's cool. All right. So it looks nothing like my tank in Stormworks. But honestly, I think I like the way this is going anyway. So we'll continue. All right. So obviously, as this stands, uh, we don't have any angled armor on the sides. Now, the way this game works is if I get shot here, it actually will count as a kill shot if it goes through. Uh, same as if it was going to hit the side here or if it was going to shoot me in the back. So unfortunately, we're going to have to add some angled armor to the side of this. Which is kind of insane, to be honest. But we're going to try it. So let's do it. Here we go. Extend it out sideways. Bring it down. There we go. Excellent. Grab it from the bottom pieces. There we go. And also these pieces back here. And bring it upwards. Alright, to there. Very good. That actually looks alright so far. Grab this piece, make it go down again. One second. For some reason I can't grab it. There we go. Bring this bit down to there. Good. And then I think we can actually grab the bottom one. And the bottom one over here. I can bring it up. There we go. We got an angled side. Which is always good. That is very nice. I should be showing you it on this side, but I'm not. So unfortunately, a uh, bit of an issue there. But that's alright. So something seems to have happened where this side is actually different to this side. Which is super duper annoying when that happens. So we're going to have to undo everything that I've just done, pretty much. In fact, yep, the whole thing needs undoing. There we go. Because it didn't apply it to this piece or this piece. So hang on, go backwards. All right, we want to extend these two, three, four, five, even this one as well, I believe. Yeah, there, there we go. Extend them out. Bring them down. There we go. Excellent. And yeah. All right, cool. This is good. So. Now, obviously, we need to grab the bottom pieces. Uh, these two and maybe these two. There we go. Bring this upwards. No, that that's not right. That ain't it. That's not right. Un or, or is it? Is it right? There we go. Yeah, okay. We'll bring that up to there. Excellent. And it's done it on both sides. All right, I think that's fair. I think that is fair. We then need to do this piece as well. Hopefully, that's done on both sides. Yes, it is. And there we go. Angled side. Very nice. Actually, you know what? We need it to be even more angled. Because honestly, it is still pretty much flat, to be fair, on most of the sides. So we do need the rest of it to go angled too. So grab that piece, have it go down to there. We'll actually push it out one, which gives it a little bit of a bump. But that's kind of an interesting feature of a tank, I guess. So we'll leave it like that. And that's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so more stuff to do. More stuff to do in Edie. We're going to go ahead and extend both of these up. Uh, they're actually going to go inwards from here on both sides. So this is going to go inwards this way. And this one's going to go uh, the other way. If that makes any sense at all. I believe it does. Hang on. Undo that. Grab this one. And grab this one. And send it across. There we go. Excellent. Yes. No, this is perfect. Good. All right, cool. We're going to extend this forwards. Bring it to the same point as that one. And then obviously we want this to go to the same point. So bring this into there. Bring this one into there as well. Send this one and this one backwards. And there we go. Pretty sick indeed. That's cool. That's very cool. Okie dokie. So now we're going to go ahead and actually extend this bit upwards. Here we go. Very nice. Uh, it is actually going to go backwards one tiny touch like this. All right. Good. Uh, and then the top pieces are actually going to extend outwards. And actually, it's just going to go to there. That's fine. So they're actually going to go outwards and attach straight on to these other pieces, which should be good, to be honest. So there you go, we'll do that. Very nice. All right, cool. So far, so good. I actually really like the way this looks. 
Okie dokie. So now I believe it is actually time for a turret. Now, I do actually want to try and do the turret that we've uh, we've built on our tank in Stormworks. Uh, I don't know how easy that is going to be, but let's go ahead and give it a go. So faces, we'll obviously extend this downwards. We need the... Uh, I was going to say the squared off, squared off region, but actually it's not squared off. It is more rounded. So we're going to send this out. We're going to go ahead and send this bit out as well. One, two, three. I think it's about four. All right, good. Go ahead and send this bit out as well. Extend. I think that's about right. Excellent. So we're going to extend all of these to the same points. Hopefully attach them all together in the right places. And then we'll be good to go from there. So send this backwards. Grab these two. Send it forwards. All right, that's nice. We then need to do exactly the same thing on these ones. All right, grab this and this. Send it to there. Very nice. Send this one backwards to there. Unfortunately, it gives it a weird reading on the top. But because we won't see that anyway, I don't think that matters. Alright, so faces, let's grab all of these if at all possible. We are trying to grab all of them. Extend all of those upwards. Oh, it hasn't done... Hasn't done it right. I don't know why, but let's try. Okay, extend again. That's weird. That's very strange. Okay, can I try and fill these in? Give me a second. So grab this one, this one, and this one. And we need to fill it. There we go. Do the same on this one. Hang on, one second. Da, 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 da. All right, fill. There we go. Do the same on this one. Fill. There we go. And then the same on this one. And fill. All right, excellent. So now we should have the faces. No, it's not even giving me the faces that I need. No. This is super duper annoying. No! I can't grab it from the point that I need to grab it from. That's really, really frustrating, actually. That's super duper frustrating. Tadge. Alright, anyway, faces. We're gonna go to the turret. There we go. Hang on. I can't even click on the turret anymore. Ah! This is so annoying, actually. What's happening? Alright, I destroyed the turret because I'm not entirely sure what was going on there. We'll have to rebuild it pretty much exactly the same way we did just build it, but uh, differently, I guess, because obviously we're having issues. But, yeah, so we'll, we'll do exactly the same thing. We'll extend it out on both sides, about four. Uh, about that much. There we go. Extend it out in the front, obviously, so do that as well. Extend it out backwards, obviously. This thing has a huge turret on it, so it does make sense that all of this is happening. Uh, we're going to actually do it this way. So, instead of attaching this piece to this piece, which caused us the issue last time, we're just going to go ahead and make our turret slightly the wrong shape. Uh, and hopefully that'll make everything A-OK, -okay, which I believe it will. So, grab these two, extend it out to there, and there we go. Obviously the wrong shape now, but doesn't actually impact anything all that much. We'll then extend these pieces out a little bit more. And honestly, I just want them to make it a little bit more round looking. So we're going to send this this way. We're going to send this backwards as well, if we can. And that looks cool. That actually looks real cool. Unfortunately, it's only done it on one side. Sag. All right, there we go. So actually, I've gone ahead and uh, replaced all of them. We have actually done it the way that we need it to, which is excellent. We're now going to grab all of these pieces, which is a lot. There we go. We're going to extend them. We're going to drag them upwards, quite a distance, to be honest, and then backwards like this. This is essentially what my turret looks like, which is... I mean, once you see it like this, it looks a bit crazy, but it's fine. Extend this backwards like this. Uh, do this. There we go. And that is essentially what my turret looks like. It might be a little bit smaller than that, but honestly, having a turret this big, pretty cool. We can have a huge gun on this. It'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be amazing. We could have a massive gun on this. That'd be great. Uh, right, okay. So, with that being said, actually, we should make it smaller. <laughs> we should definitely, definitely, definitely make this thing a little bit smaller. Even if it's just a little bit. All right, here we go. Bring it down. Bring it forwards. Bring it down again. Can I bring it in, actually? That'd be really cool if we could bring it in, but we can't. All right, we're going to go with that being our gun. Yes. All right, cool. It looks big, but honestly, that's cool. I like it. Oh, look what else we can actually do. We can actually smooth it out. So it actually looks pretty sick as we go around too. That actually looks real nice with a little bit of smoothing. That's really cool. So we're going to leave it like that. I think we've actually built the main bulk of the tank that I wanted to. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a Matilda 2 uh, mantlet because I think that would be really cool. And yes, that does actually look really nice. It actually somewhat fits too. So that's good. Um, I would like to actually stretch this. Is that possible? Okay, so we'll do this. I don't really want to angle it, per se. 
I don't think I want to angle it, but moving it backwards might be nice. There we go. Yeah, that works. Good. I like that. All right, so we're not actually done with the turret yet. We need to extend it upwards a little bit more. It's actually going to come upwards, yeah, just a tad more. So grab all of these. There we go. Extend, extend, extend. Do this. Very nice. Bring them inwards. Oh, that just isn't right. That's just not right. Okay, we're going to grab all of this side. All right, just like this. And we're going to uh, bring it in. Two, there we go. We're then going to do this piece, obviously. There we go. And also this piece. There we go. So it's all actually been extended inwards. Uh, which is, is nice, I suppose. There we go. So it's all actually been extended inwards, uh, which is very nice. We're then going to extend these two up. We're going to make them skinnier so that they all fit properly. And there we go. It's giving it a bit of a wobble thing on the top, but... There's not much I can do about that, to be honest. There's really not much I can do about that. Make this bit skinnier. Alright. We'll go with that. <laughs> we will go with that. Alright, extend this one inwards. Oh, God. Okay, and this one. Oh, no. Okay, just undo them. We'll have it be glitchy. No, I don't want it to be glitchy. I really don't want it to be glitchy. Right, undo everything that I've just done. What the heck? This should be a relatively easy thing to actually do, but... Turns out... It's not. <laughs> Turns out it's not. Right, extend these two upwards as well. Alright, very good. We're going to grab this piece. This piece. This piece. This piece. This piece. This piece. And this piece. And also this piece. We're going to extend all of them inwards. Okay. No, that doesn't work. Because there's actually another one inside of that. And then we need to move this one too. Go. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but that's not right. Okay, extend those two inwards as well. This one, I feel like, is the problem. Nope. Okay, fine. That's all good. We'll leave it just like like that. No, because then this piece is all out of whack. What's going on here? What is even happening? There we go. Send that in. Send this in. Maybe. There we go. Send this in. All right, is that symmetrical? Who knows? All right, send that in. Send this in. Send this in. Very good. I think that's symmetrical. We'll leave it as it is because there's not much else I can do with how crazy this is looking. So fill that in. Grab all of these. Fill that in as well. There we go. All right. That's fine. We did it. Oh, but we haven't quite done it because these pieces need to go backwards. All right, go. Hopefully that doesn't mess with too much. But there you go. It's now backwards. All right, this is good. We've actually done it the way we needed to. Uh, and I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that, actually. Good. Alright, so with that being said then, uh, we need to actually move the entire thing forwards because it's going to go to about there so we can actually have the rear end on, that's good. Uh, the turret itself, uh, the gun is actually going to be way bigger, but we'll leave that to last. Let's go ahead and put some crew hatches on. So we'll actually put these guys right about there, excellent. Uh, I want to put the viewports on for the driver, which will go uh, in here actually. And if I can make this bigger, that'd be cool. There we go. I'll actually make that really wide and also quite long. There we go. That looks sick. That looks really cool, actually. Drag it sideways a little bit. There we go. Good. And that's fine. All right. Nice. Uh, the other thing that we need is actually a gun, which will go on there as well. So anti-infantry. We'll actually put one of these in uh, and that will go on there like, like that, actually. It's just going to go directly on the front. Very good. Okay. Nice. Bring that over to the side. If we can have a copy of this, put it here. In fact, we'll do this. There we go. So this side's the driver, this side's the gunner. Excellent. And that's pretty cool. All right. Okay. So now it's time for actual lights. So on my actual tank in game in uh, Stormworks, I actually added some uh, of these, <laughs> some spotlights on the side of my tank. Now I'm going to do it again here because I kind of feel like it is very interesting to do so. Is this going to revert it back to what it was if I grab it? No. I can't, like, copy and paste it onto the other side. But we can just have one on the side right here, and I guess that's fine. Uh, it's very small, but that's okay. Right, we're going to add these to the rear, obviously, because we always have to. There we go. Very good. Just add those right in the middle. Stowages. Honestly, I like the idea of adding a basket to the back of this. To be honest. There you go. So a basket to the back of that. But maybe a little bit lower, we'll actually put it towards the bottom. There we go, that's sick. That's very cool. 
Uh, lights again. We will actually add extra lights to here. We'll just add one extra light. Move it down. There we go. Very nice. Okay, as for utilities, this is where things get interesting. I do feel like we should finally add one of these to one of our tanks. So we're going to add that to the side. We're also going to actually add one of these to right about here. On the front, if I can make it small enough to fit. We'll put that right there. Excellent, that looks sick. We're also then going to add these guys to actually be able to tow us. Uh, and also we will add them around the side as well to be able to lift the tank up if at all necessary. Very nice indeedy. Alright, put them on the back as well. And on the rear at the back too. Alright, good. Yeah, this is this is going to work. Very nice. Uh, okay, excellent. Turret ring, probably a good idea. Or pr ring protector. I don't know what you'd call that. There you go, that's on. Uh, what else do we need? Commander's Coupla obviously goes on top of here. Off to one side is where we are going to have it. There we go, very nice. Uh, but we'll actually put it on the other side. There we go. Because the main gun is actually in the middle, but then we've got this gun here as well, uh, which lines up with that. Excellent. Uh, we're going to put one of these on the top of there. Very nice. Stowages. I mean, we could add more stowages. Really not feeling it all that much, but let's go ahead and put that there. And then we can slide it into said vehicle. And that's pretty cool, actually. That, that works. It does actually work. All right, we'll do it again. We'll have two of them. There we go. Send that in. Send it upwards. Bring it back out a little bit. There we go. Bring it up. Away. Oh, hey, there we go. That's very nice. It's very nice indeedy. So we get some stowages on the side. Excellent. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Some of these would actually be very nice. Uh, don't really know where to put them, so they'll actually just go directly on the side. Uh, we will have two sets, I guess. Yeah, sure. That's actually fine. We'll have one set of these on the rear somewhere. There we go, just in case we need them to fix our tank. And that is pretty nice. We're also going to go with a machine gun on the top. I know I didn't have this, but still, it's fine. There we go, so we're going to put that right there. Structural. None, none of this is necessary, none of that's necessary. I think we're all good, to be honest. Uh, we are going to add two of these. I didn't have them on my tank, but that's fine. And we're also going to add one of these. Right in the middle. Okay, good. Yes, I'm happy with the way this is looking so far. Go back to mobility, though. Go to transmission. No, engine. Engine's what we need. We're going to go with heavy, which is going to make it very fast at the moment. We're going to add these guys to here, which is going to be our coolant system. Uh, looking good so far. We're also... Oh, God. We're also going to make these super small uh, as well, because we should have them. Uh, and they're going to go right here at the front. And in fact, we're going to have a few of them. There we go. Very nice. That's cool. Okay, so exhaust. I'm not sure how I want to do the exhaust on this. I always use these things. So I want to do a different one if I can. If I could flip this around, that'd be... Oh, that's kind of an interesting idea, having my exhaust point upwards. But I feel like we should totally should. <laughs> it's a weird design. I like weird designs. It's cool. There we go. Our exhaust is actually firing upwards, uh, but very cool. All right, fuel. Extra fuel uh, in fuel tanks would be nice, I suppose. We'll add just one little tiny one. We'll bring this down to about 200 liters of fuel. Okie dokie. And we only weigh 15 tons so far. We need to weigh more. We need to weigh way more. Also, our gun needs to be way bigger. So we're actually going to go with... Um, I want it to be a very big round. So we're actually going to go with a one... 55 caliber and then the shell length is actually going to be ginormous and that's going to be very cool and then we're going to add some of these maximum length i suppose oh wow they're gonna have to be really really long if we do this like extremely long if we do this uh yeah <laughs> uh yeah okay maybe make this smaller and that'll be fine there we go. We're actually going to go with that. There we go. All right, that's very nice. Extend this a little bit more. Maybe make it a little bit small. Actually, bigger. We're, that's. I think that's about the right size, to be honest. Uh, we're then going to add this thing to the end. That seems very nice. Uh, and honestly, that actually looks pretty cool. I like it. A little bit like uh, one of the American tank destroyers, honestly. It looks a little bit like one of those. An M8? M18? I'm not sure what they're called. Um, Hellcat? I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, this looks really cool. I like it. 
Okie dokie. So with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to have 15 rounds of this. We're going to have 10 rounds of this. And we're going to have uh, 10 rounds of this inside the actual hull of the tank. That makes a lot of sense. And I'm actually pretty pleased with this. So, so far, looking really cool. Uh, we're going to add a radio operator as well. We might as well. And that is excellent. Let's go to base and let's armor this thing up. So, the turret itself... Uh, is actually going to be all one one um, thickness. I don't want to have a weakness on the turret, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, so that's 50 mil. That's not good. That's really not good. However, if we make the basket way bigger, we can actually have that be maximized. There we go. So we're going to have a hell of a lot of armor on the turret. That seems pretty epic. We're going to make this thing uh, very armored as well. That's very cool. We're then going to go to base again, and we're going to try and armor up the rest of this uh, in a way that makes sense. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of tricky to do, I think, uh, in order to make it make sense. But let's uh, let's hope for the best here. So, grab all of these as we go. We're going to grab all of the pieces that are going to be pretty much maximum armor, uh, which is essentially the entire front of the vehicle. There we go, including these little tiny bits off to the side, and this little bit down here, and these bits as well. There we go. Alright, so, that's quite a lot of armor to add. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, armor, thickness, let's go. Maximized. Very good. The side is actually going to be extra armored as well. There we go. Let's make sure we do all of the side, otherwise we'll have issues. There we go. So, this is going to be pretty armored. We're going to go with 100... And 25 mil right there. This piece really doesn't need that much armor, so we go with like 85. This is gonna have like none, but we we'll go with 40. We we'll go with 40 on this piece as well. We're not gonna get shot down on the top of us, so that's actually probably fine. The rear end, I don't want this to be very armored at all, to be totally honest with you guys. Um, so we're gonna go with about 30, to be honest. 30 mil of armor on the rear, that is actually fine. There we go. 30 mil. Very nice. Okay, cool. Uh, the other problem that I think we might end up having is the fact that this piece right here, this little tiny section, is actually part of a huge section, which means if I add armor, it's going to add a hell of a lot of weight because it has to armor the entire thing, not just this little section. But it needs armor. Otherwise, we'll get shot in the front and we'll die purely based on this little tiny bit right here. So there we go. Our tank is ready to fight. We're going to make it American because I feel like we should. Uh, so yeah, let's just change the color a little bit. We'll make it more green. Uh, and hopefully this will actually look pretty cool. So let's change this to this. Saturation could go all the way up. Brightness could come down. Actually. Some of the American tanks are actually like quite a light color, right? But maybe not that. Okay, we want it to be darker than this. Oh, that's actually a pretty sick color. There we go. So somewhat like this, like a green. That's very nice. Okay, so go to decals. Very nice. We'll get the American store. American store. And we'll actually put it... I think it should go here. There we go. Very nice. On both sides, yes. And we'll also put it smack bang in the middle. Make it a little bit smaller so it doesn't interact with anything. Put that right there. Excellent. And honestly, we should probably have it on the side as well. Or maybe near the back. I don't know. I guess we can put it down here, but that looks weird. Alright, get rid of that one. Alright, excellent. So, I'm actually really, really happy with what we've got so far. I think this looks really awesome. Let's go back to crew. We'll try and decorate it a little bit more. And then once we've done that, we'll uh, we'll use it and see if we can go to war with it. Shall we have a log on it? I think we should have a log on it on both sides. Yeah, that's cool. We've added a log. Very nice. Uh, what else would we need? Like, if you wanted to add something to this, what would it be? What would it actually be? It wouldn't be one of those. I'll tell you that now. Um, what if we did this? On both sides. Right, we right click it. We angle it a little bit. So we do this. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And then we push it inwards. Like that. There we go. And upwards. Alright, so it's at about the right place. And then we make it smaller. Make it longer, but smaller, if that makes any sense at all. There we go. Right, so move it now into position. 
This is something that I rarely ever do. In fact, I don't think I've ever done it, but there you go. So this is going to go down here, and we're going to have ourselves a little bit of a compartment right there. That's cool. All right, very nice. So we have a 79-ton tank. I think we're ready for war. Our penetration on our gun, I don't think is actually really high. However, I think it will be fine. Uh, so yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's go, boys. Oh, yeah, slow. Oh, wait, yeah, we're gonna have to edit the engine. <laughs> we're gonna definitely have to edit the engine. So, displacement is gonna be three liters per cylinder. We're gonna have 16 cylinders. Actually, yeah, no, let's go with 2.5. All right, the way we can fix this is we can actually go to base. We can make the basket smaller, and that'll be fine. All right, go back to mobility. Go to engine. We need to make this work. So, three four hundred. There we go. One seven hundred right here. Uh, One seven hundred right here. There we go. Excellent. Eight point six horsepower per ton. Very nice. And off we go. All right, we're faster. This is this is this is good. This is very nice. All right, we need to go up against an enemy now. Uh, we need to fight. That is cool. Very cool tank. Okie dokie, so here we are in the actual, uh, the snow map, which is pretty cool. It is actually a very good map to actually test things out on. Look at how fast we are. We're actually going like 40 kilometers an hour. It's pretty quick for a heavy tank, I would say. All right, we're getting shot at already. Let's see what our gun can do. Let's see what our gun can actually do. Oh, it sounds beefy, but I don't know how much damage it actually does. So let's just try and make sure it works. All right, we'll take that one out if we can while it's on its side. Oh, I don't think we're going to get through its armor. Let's put in a high explosive. Armor piercing high explosive. We might need to change the gun. It doesn't feel like it's got enough pen for any of these, to be honest. It might pen the smaller tanks, but definitely not the bigger ones. Let's try it. Oh, never mind. Centurion 1, dead. <laughs> nice. All right, we're getting shot in the side, but remember, our turret is fully armored. All the way around, it is fully armored. I wish it reloaded faster, though. That's okay. Go. There we go. Another one dead. Let's turn off to the side. Because remember, our side armor isn't, like, the best. Our rear armor definitely isn't the best. So if we do get shot in the back, we could die. So we need to pay attention to that a little bit. But let's shoot these while we can. So there's a tank right there. All right, Centurion 1 dead again. Very nice. Anyone see any tanks behind me? I currently do not. Still wish we had a handbrake in this game, not gonna lie. Wait, is that a tank up on the hill? There might be a tank on my right, but I'm not sure. All right, where's this enemy at? There you are, I see you. There you go, you're dead as well. Someone else just shot me from somewhere. I think there is a tank on my right. There is! I thought I seen you. I thought I seen you, you're so dead. You are so dead, buddy. Bam! Oh, I missed. <laughs> I actually missed. Uh-oh. It's coming towards me. We can't let them circle me. That would be really bad. But we're good. So far, so good. All right, I'm ready for you. All right, you're dead. Victory. What an awesome tank. We've actually built something that is actually really sick. And it works really well. I'm so happy about this. This is actually really, really cool. Nice. Uh, right. Well, anyway, uh, if you guys have any suggestions on things that we can build in the future, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you guys actually thought of this tank. I really like it. I actually really, really do. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.